to Hunt. Who can launch long. A week later, more guests from the West, and they were treated just the same way. This time, it was Fremantle who would feel the brunt of this aggressive Geelong lineup. Varko deep here. He might go all the way, Gary Ablett. Sizes them up. Low trajectory. Stokes, can he run onto it? Hayden's with him. Stokes, caught, slung. Wachinski, caught, slung, kicks, goals. Ablett, Stokes, Kelly. Mooney's on his own. Steve Johnson can hit Mooney in the goal square if he wants to. Takes them on. Ran, long, long. Ran 16 and goals. From the ball up, they try and rush it behind. Steve Johnson. Handball out. Hunt can spin this around and go. Quick fire handball to win. Right. They had no answer to the hardness of the ball at stoppages, the mean spirited defence, or the talent of the forward line that had become cohesive and a joy to watch. Steve Johnson, Johnson into the pocket Good now, ball. into the space with ease. He's going to have to go left post, but he's going to need to punch it low. Perfect kick, and he's punched it low for a goal. They just haven't put him away, but their toughness at the contest has been the difference in this game, no doubt. Bartel to Selwood, to Ablett. He can just about put this in the book. There it is. Oh, again, just oh, there. Yeah. Spearing left foot kick to Mooney. Yeah, and here's within range. Uh-oh, free kick, undisciplined. It's Hayden dragged, I think Gary Ablett Jr. to the ground, Dwayne, I don't know the James Kelly collected 33 possessions, Cameron Ling and Jimmy Bartell were standouts, while Steve Johnson, with his four goals, was the outstanding forward on the ground. Gary Ablett continued to shine as Geelong made it three in a row with a 25-point win. From 50, long, long, long goal! With a cherry on top. Jimmy Bartell continuing his stellar season, Steve Johnson back and playing brilliantly.